Disclaimer, if you don't understand some of the words I'm saying, you can come back to the stat explanation and yeah, let's get on. In today's video, I will be explaining all three major skill trees and how you can AFK and build your own unit in Anime Last Stand. I'll put all the timestamps on the screen so you can skip to them. I'm gonna put the damage slash SPA skill tree first. By the way, I'm going to be using the information from the wiki that has been provided by Alvin and all of the other people that have researched this. So if you wanna go check out the wiki, I'll leave it in the description. And thanks to Alvin. The first skill tree is damage skill tree. It relies on SPA and a damage boost. Uh, recommended units for the damage skill tree will be on screen up right now. So we have all of the major damage skill, the major damage unit. I'm going to be using my Sukuna as a thing to showcase it off. So this is gonna be the first skill tree, which you're gonna need 250 kills for. It's not that hard. We're gonna go for Empower One. It just gives 4% extra damage. Nothing that special. Then we're gonna go to Shatter One because of the negative three SPA. We don't care about the elemental penetration. We only care about the SPA in this second thing. Let's learn it. And then the third is going to be in the middle for speedy which is negative for spa and then we're gonna take a right complete right to enlighten speedster because of the negative 10 spa the damage and range are fine but we were mostly here for the spa here we go and then there's critical two there is critical one but if you want to go for critical two because it's more it is a 15 percent crit chance and then the scroll tree goes in a line Empower for 15% extra damage, Shadow 2 for the SPA, and then Devastation of Mastery for the 65% extra damage. This is gonna be the end result for the damage skill tree, and these are all of the bonuses you get for going the damage skill tree. Let's do the range skill tree first. You wanna go to Vision, then if you wanna get out of this little bracket, do Empower Crit. Then we are gonna go to the left, like the full left for uh, vision two for 5% range. Then we're gonna go in the middle, in line in sight, critical two, just because we have to. And then uh, vision three, and then we're gonna go all the way to the left to empower crit. And then we are gonna go to bull's eye master. This is the full range skill tree with the recommended units under it. And these are the bonuses you get. I'm not gonna go over the full crit skill tree because uh, I'm just gonna show the picture. I don't wanna go over the I don't wanna go over it because it's basically useless. So here it is if you wanna copy and uh, there's only two units that you would use this on, but they're not it would be just better for you to just go the damage skill tree either way. Because uh, the damage skill tree increases the DPS way more than the crit damage skill tree. So about how you can AFK your kills, you're gonna need to go in infinite, go to a chamber over here, and then start a desert infinite. It has to be normal if you wanna do infinite, sure, but you're not gonna get as many kills as you would in normal. So I'm getting kills for Yuna right now. I'm going in, you're gonna need a tiny task for this, link in the description. I'm gonna put it on continuous playback, 1x speed. And then these are my keybinds, F8 and print screen. So I'm gonna click F8. I'm gonna click this, or uh, I'm gonna click one and then place Genos here. I'm gonna click two and then place my Yudas over here, wherever you wanna place them. And then I'm gonna press uh, click under my arm and then press F8 again. And that's all you have to do. If you wanna upgrade them, you could. You could pretend to like upgrade it. Even if it's not gonna get upgraded, it's gonna get upgraded later on. But um, since I don't want Yuta to get upgraded and it's kind of good in its first upgrade, I will keep it at its first upgrade. But if it was Sakuna, I would uh, have upgraded him because he does a lot more damage. And that's how you basically AFK. You can also do this in story, but it's not as efficient. You get 25 to 27k kills overnight if you do this in story. But if you do this in infinite, I got 47k kills on Yuta overnight with this infinite. And I also got 6,000 gems. But if you do this with Yuta overnight in story, you get around 20,000 gems with like 
27-ish thousand kills, so pick whatever one you want. This is the safer way though. I don't know if with story you guys have a fully built Genos. So I hope you guys um, found something new in this video. I hope this video actually helped y'all out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and bye bye.